Uh, hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to another video in our Maysmore Apiaries sponsored series of videos. And today we're going to have a quick look at the colony that was split about three weeks ago now, I think, where we initially had it set up as a Bailey comb exchange. And when I split the colony down, we found that the old queen was still in the top box, but that we had a new, apparently virgin queen in the bottom box. And I've given it two or three weeks to see whether or not that queen has been able to go out and mate and come back and start laying. And I'm gonna have a check today. And if she hasn't started laying, or if there's no sign of the queen there, then what we'll do is we'll check to see if the colony is hopelessly queenless and I'll give you a demonstration as to how I do that. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. All you have to do is to hit the little button down in the bottom corner there that says subscribe. And don't forget to take a look at our Facebook group, which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics. And we've got uh, well in excess of a thousand members now, uh, all chatting together about uh, beekeeping techniques, uh, tips and tricks. So uh, why not come over and have a look at that as well. So we get the smoker lit and head over to the hive and see how things are looking. So this is one of the Maysmore Apiaries commercial poly hives that has been supplied to me to try out. Um, I'll pop all of the information down in the description below. So what we've got here is the bottom half of the Bailey comb change that we had organised a few weeks ago. This is, um, I'm beginning to uh, grow used to the uh, cover board. It's a clear perspex sheet and actually you can see what's going on underneath. They're actually starting to build a small amount of wax underneath which is creating a bee space. So they've actually got a bee space now running underneath here. So I think maybe at some point in the future, if I leave the wax on here, they will have created their own bee space. But we'll see, uh, I have unfortunately had one or two casualties where I've crushed bees, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. But I'm not going to scrape off the wax and I'm gonna make sure that the cover goes back on the same way as I've taken it off. So we originally had a queen, which I suspected was a virgin queen in this poly hive. And uh, that was several weeks ago now. So I've got other colonies where we've had virgin queens in that have been out and mated and are now laying quite strongly. So I would have hoped that these girls would now have a new queen in place and be settling down with a a nice patch of brood somewhere but the last time I checked there were no signs of any brood so I'm just having a quick look through to see if I can see any eggs or brood and if I find anything of interest I'll hold it up to the camera and we'll get a close-up of it but these are all combs that have been drawn when we had the Bailey comb change and rather than destroying the old queen I decided that we would try and split the two colonies and make an increase and just take advantage of what we had uh, but at the moment I'm not seeing any sign of any eggs or larvae looking at the combs as I go through and it is just a very quick check because I'm just looking for eggs and larvae and unfortunately I would say that these girls are hopelessly queenless there doesn't appear to be anything and we need to act before some of the workers start to get excited and, and start laying eggs themselves because if we have a colony that has 
laying workers then that's a far more difficult colony to rectify than just having a queenless or a hopelessly queenless colony. I'm also trying to spot the queen to see if she's in there. She could well have um, just died of natural causes, uh, the most obvious being being crushed by the beekeeper. Not quite natural, but um, accidents do happen. But if she's been out to try and mate, then it's possible that she could have lost her way back. She could have been eaten by a bird. She could have died in the act of trying to mate. There's, there's many different reasons as to why uh, she hasn't uh, made it back to this colony. So, um, we've got no eggs or brood in here. Now we could get ourselves a queen from the queen rearing apiary and pop it in a cage and put that in. But we still don't know whether there is a queen hidden away in here somewhere. So the easiest way to check is to take a frame of eggs and young larvae from another colony and place it in this colony and if they produce queen cells then that's a pretty sure sign that they need a queen. So we'll pop over to the other colony that was the other half of this double brood and grab a frame of eggs and we'll bring it back and pop it into here. So this is a frame that we've just taken from the parent colony and I'm not sure whether it, the camera will pick it up but in this area here we've got lots of eggs so we're going to pop this into this brood box and if they're hopelessly queenless and we've got no hope of there being a queen in here then they'll raise some queen cells from this frame. So let's pop that in. It's a very simple process and we'll confirm whether or not you've got uh, a queen in the colony or not. And then we just close the hive up. And then again the challenge that I'm finding at the moment is trying to get the cover board back on without crushing bees. So my method at the moment is to just smoke the top and then try and get it on as quickly as I can before the bees come back up. And then as I say we've got areas where they've built up the comb which seems to provide them with a bee space and allows them to get through to the other frames. And then I just leave the queen excluder on there so that it's with the hive, not that we need it, and then the roof on top. Okay, so a very quick inspection today and a very straightforward method of checking to see whether you've got a queen that is either laying or about to start laying in a colony. If we haven't then those girls will start producing queen cells and we'll check again next week. And so next week's video will be the follow-on from this, this video and we'll have a look to see whether we've got any queen cells. Uh, I did notice that in the frame that I put in that there is some chalk brood so it might be that um, I'll use this frame to test to see whether they have a queen or not. If they produce queen cells then we know that they haven't and then I might knock down all of those queen cells because we are raising our own queens from healthy stock. So I don't want to replicate a colony that suffers from chalk brood so I'd rather put some new genetics in that colony. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how things turn out next week. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. My thanks again to Jonathan and the team at Maysmore Apiaries for supplying all of the poly hive equipment. And if you'd like to take a look at it, I'll put all of the links down in the description below. Finally, don't forget to take a look at our Patreon page where you can help support us in producing these videos. And again, I'll put all of the links necessary for that down in the description below. So, until we catch up next week to see whether we've got queen cells or not, thanks for watching. <laughs>